Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush and in this lecture, we are going to talk about a very, very interesting, like one scenario or I would say one service provided by the AWS, we called it as a AWS RDS. So what is the long form of AWS RDS? It is Amazon Web Service Relational Database Service. Okay. So there are some clients, they are saying that, okay, can we have can we have a databases which is hosted on cloud platform like you take an example of any database like I'm just taking an example of Oracle database or MySQL database or PostgreSQL database or you can take an example of SQL server also apart from this there are enterprise uh, versions are also available like AWS Aurora all these databases can be managed under this service we called it as a RDS. So what is this about? Just take an example like there is a client. So let's say there is a client. He is saying that, okay, we have one application is there, which is my CRM application or it is a ERP application. In order to store the data of this application, I need a database. But if you want to install a database, first of all, you need to purchase a hardware, right? So basically you need one server. You need one server under that server like you are going to install your database to this server you are going to allocate some resources like cpu memory storage again if you want to if you want to uh like you know let's take an example of database only so when you have a back database on this database you have some security issues are there so in order to resolve that security issues what you'll do you're going to do the patching activity let's say you want to take the backup now all these activity if you want to perform you need a database administrator so you need dba right so basically there is a very high upfront cost is there and client is saying that okay upfrontly i cannot spend a lot of money right so can we have something where i can pay the money in terms of rent i would say like whatever the resources that i'm going to use for that resources i will pay so there is something this AWS RDS play an important role. What this AWS RDS will do, it will manage your most of the database related services. So first of all, you have options like which database you want to install. Consider a situation that someone is saying that, okay, I have a ERP application and for this ERP application, I need Oracle database. You don't need to download the setup also. You go to the AWS RDS select what database you want to install you can also select what version you want to install let's say i want to install oracle 19c you can install it within a second to this database let's say you are saying that i want to allocate this much of memory i'm just mentioning that okay i want to allocate 100 gb of memory you can allocate that if you are saying that okay i want to allocate around one terabyte of storage you can allocate that without going to the market and you know purchasing that memory or storage also so it is a, just a game of click you just say what you want and they will allocate to you within a second so there is a very i would say there is no upfront cost means you don't need to purchase anything whatever things you are going to use for that resources only you are going to pay the money let's take an example in future you, you are saying that okay now i have allocated 100 gb of memory in tomorrow i want to allocate 200 gb of memory or day after tomorrow you are saying that okay i want to decrease the amount of memory so basically you started with 100 gb you want to decrease it you want to increase it so basically the graph will be like this right is it possible with the bare metal or is it possible with the physical server it is possible but it is a time consuming process so when you want to increase the number of resources or you want to decrease the number of resources it is quite easy when you are using the AWS RDS services. It is very easy when you are using the AWS RDS services and you are going to pay only for the resources that you are going to use. Let's say you are increasing the memory. So you will use that to tomorrow you are decreasing the memory here. Okay. So you will only pay for this. So many good options are available with the AWS RDS. The most important part is most of the task will be kind of managed by the AWS RDS only like let's say I want to take the backup 
so there are automated backups are also available there are manual backups are also available you can take the snapshots also you can take the snapshot everything is possible with the help of aws rds tomorrow you are thinking that okay i have some concern regarding the securities so many security related solutions are also many security related solutions are also provided by the aws like you take a example of kms you take a example of im role you take a example of vps everything can be managed by using the aws rds services and the most important thing is let's say you want to use high availability concept like normally in the oracle dba we use oracle rack right rac data card all those things we use right by using this aws rds service they also provide a to z service means you can have your primary server you can have your standby server on this standby server you can have read replications means the users can connect to the standby and they can read the data also so that level of services are also provided by the aws rds let's say i got some issues with my database and how will i come to know that okay i got the issues for that you need to configure the monitoring right you need to configure monitoring so aws also providing the monitoring related services for your databases like let's say you want to use a service called amazon cloud watch by using this if your database goes down or something went wrong you will get the notification and you can do you can integrate this with the ticketing tool also so basically aws rds is a bundle in which you can manage your databases very very securely and most of your tasks are getting automated or it become very easy also again like those people who are thinking that i want to understand about the complete aws complete aws okay we are starting a new batch of this aws now with 50% discount with 50% discount so if you are interested to start your journey with the aws where we will cover from basic like what is aws from fundamentals to all the big big concept of aws when i'm saying that we are giving 50% discount it doesn't mean that we are skipping some topics and all no this is complete 3 months of training so you can reach out to the learner mate be ready for the adding this aws related services to your resume and this is going to be really really interesting so thank you so much and let's see in the class now